Hi, Linda. Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm so excited. Oh, I'm doing great. Can you believe we're actually getting started with It's So Road? I know. We've been planning it for a while now. We have. So how did we even get here? Well, um, I was doing that So What Zoomcast um, last year to uh, give quilters some um, an hour that they didn't have to think about the pandemic. And um, when we started working together for Road at Home, um, we talked about it to make it bigger and better. And here we are, bigger and better. Well, I think I see we have almost 60 people already watching us. Can you believe that? Wow. I know that's pretty awesome. All right, now as promised, we will always give you a weather report because I'm in beautiful, what should be sunny Southern California, but on our first day of It's So Road, guess what's about to happen? It's gonna rain. You're gonna actually see rain out this back window here. What's that song? It doesn't rain in California? Yeah, well, it's raining today. Oh. What's your weather like? It is beautiful. It's sunny. The skies are blue. I am down in um, Palm Bay, Florida, and I'm about uh, 20 miles south of Cape Canaveral on the East Coast. Nice. Nice. So every, every uh, week here, you'll get the weather report from sunny, beautiful Florida and on most days, sunny, beautiful Southern California. All right, Linda, now I have to ask. Why is it Linda Jahan? Oh, do you believe this? Do you believe this? There is another Linda Hahn who teaches quilting, and she also has a daughter named Sarah who long arm quilts. No way. Yeah, yeah. I think she owns um, a quilt shop in Ohio, somewhere around Columbus. So I always use the J so you know you're getting the original. Oh, we want to make sure we have the correct Linda Hahn on here, don't we? Unless I do something stupid. <laughs> then it's just Linda Hahn. <laughs> <laughs> well, one, one great thing about the new format for It's So Road is that if you have any uh, comments or uh, questions for us or the guest, go ahead and put them all up. You'll be able to see, uh, we'll be able to spotlight you. So hi, Irene from Fallbrook, California. Thank you for joining us today. So you'll be able to interact with both Linda and myself and our guests. So Linda, why don't you tell me a little bit about our guest we have coming on today? Our guest we have is a, a very good friend of mine. Her name is Heather Kojan, and she is up in the Baltimore, Maryland area. And I met Heather quite a number of years ago. I'm aging us both. Um, when we were teaching at a, um, a quilters conference and I've watched Heather over the years. She has really evolved into a fabulous, fabulous teacher and her personality really she shines and she's just pretty cool. Awesome. Well, I think without any further ado, we're going to invite Heather to join us on It's So Road. Hi, Heather. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> but you look kind of cold. Yeah. Well, honestly, it's a nice day today in Baltimore. Um, I just checked the weather because, you know, y'all are doing weather. It's about 50 degrees out, so it's not so bad for Baltimore. But, I mean, there's still ice all over the place. So, I mean, Linda, you remember from your New Jersey days that the ice stays forever. That's um, why I'm here. Yeah. And, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. So, anyway. Wish I was wish I was with some palm trees with with you guys today. That would be so nice. Well, but, you see my I, background. I'm in my little jungle in my house. I see that. I know. She's got, like, this little shop of horrors thing going on with her palm tree in the background. <laughs> I see that. I like that. It suits you. It suits you. Yeah, I have a lot of I have a lot of um, fake bushes around. I like that. And and Matt, I love the view of your parking lot. That's cool. <laughs> Isn't that great? You know, we when we were deciding where to put this in the office, this was the easiest room to clean up. 
Okay, so you, you thought really, the music, like, like background, parking lot, that's my jam. <laughs> right? Well, like, you know, we went back and forth, and it was supposed to be like our, our man cave kind of a vibe here. Okay. So Jillian put up a little quilter block thing in this little dog, and of course, what what is it without a picture of my dog right now? I know I'm already in trouble. My wife's watching, actually. There she is there. Um, but I know I'm already in trouble because there's a picture of my kids at home that was supposed to be put on this bookshelf behind me that I forgot. Oh. So I already know once I go home, I'm in trouble because we forgot to put the picture of the boys up. Yeah. So I really shouldn't mention that you got a new chair, right? I did. So that was the that was the yeah. big debate that happened when we started this is how we were going to set up the studio and what kind of a chair of all things to use, right? So we went around and we actually I I am very comfortable. I am in a lazy boy. I am thrilled to death. It was like the one time I get to sit in a lazy boy in the office and call it work. <laughs> I like that. Lazy boys rock. Yeah. I have a, I have a lazy boy myself. I like it very much. Hey, hey, Heather. So, yeah, yeah. I kind of like that quilt behind you. Thank you. You know what? If I sit just right, the crown is right on my head. But you look lovely. You look like a little you. princess. Suits me. It kind of it kind of frames you very well. Yeah. Got yeah. It. You know, you know about pineapples, right? Um, I love them. They're delicious. Um always like to have so fresh pineapple that. around. <laughs> Here's okay. a fun pineapple fact Here. for you, Linda. Did you pineapple know? Pineapple facts? Okay, what's a pineapple, pineapple fact? Pineapple facts, yes, a pineapple fact for you. If okay. you are trying to get pregnant, according to my wife, when you're trying to have kids, um, you're supposed to eat the entire pineapple within like three or four days, core and all. So we, we did this for a while, and finally, after the second or third time, she looked at me, she said, I never want to eat another pineapple in my life. Really? Yeah. And you had and you had twins from that pineapple. We well well not no that was the first kid I, after the first kid she gave up on the pineapple stuff pretty fast. How did how did you get the twins? What was she eating for the twins? Yeah. Oh, uh, we we had wonderful medical technology help for the twins. Uh, we had, had IVF, so uh, we had IVF with Brayden, our, my oldest, and then we got we got a buy one get one free kind of a deal. Nice. I like Bogo. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, well, oh, they're the best. Actually, this chair was a Bogo. Could you believe that? Your whole life is I'm, a Bogo. I it's mean, Road, Road at Home this year was a BOGO. We did Road at Home, and now we're having a BOGO one coming up. Yeah. Oh, I know. So Road at Home May is pretty exciting. If I told you the dates, I know I'd get them wrong because that's kind of not my wheelhouse. But I'm being told it's May 21st, yeah, through the 23rd. Yeah. So see, there we go. I, I'm even, I even got the dates right. All right. Let me, no, wait I, let me, hang talk. on. Let me put that in my calendar. Yeah, yeah. Before we go any further, I have a pineapple fact. Oh, pi oh right, pineapple fact. I have no pineapple fact. I have a pineapple fact. You have the pineapple quilt. I, I have, have a pineapple quilt. Okay. Have, have you been on a cruise and sometimes you're walking down the hall and you see like stickers on the door? Yeah, like happy birthday or just married or yeah. No, I, I, I have I've, mine. Actually, I've, I've gone on through. a couple quilting cruises and I've, I've, seen, I've seen people who decorate their doors, yes. Okay. I'm one of them. However, okay. however, if you put a pineapple on a cruise ship door, that that is a signal that you are open to swinging. You know what that is, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh Lord! I'm not gonna have you explain it. Let's. let's I don't think we need to go into details on this one, Linda. Okay, well, um, good to know. I'm ready. Uh, I'm letting everybody know. I, I will, I will be very glad to know door. there are no pineapples on my cruise ship door. So no. don't knock. No, my, my cruise ship doors were very incognito, very, very plain, you know. Although sometimes it's a good idea to just have something on there. So when you're stumbling down the hallway at, you know, three in the morning, you can find it easily enough. I hope so. Anyway. Well, that's why I... So, I we put our name on there because I have um, gone to the wrong deck. I've been at the right cabin, but I've been on the wrong deck. <laughs> I don't think they like that too much. You know, the last time I was on a cruise was last 
it was only last year. Last year, um, I was teaching on a cruise in January. And it really didn't even occur to me until like March or April, like, oh my gosh, you know, they were shutting things down right after that. So I'm very, very grateful that we got that cruise in and very much looking forward to doing another one someday. I mean, they're fun. They're super fun to teach at, teach on, be on. I love them. Yeah. I get why they're popular. Yeah. I like oh them. yeah. We can't, can't wait to travel again, being stuck at home for a, uh, for over a year now, almost, is, is really uh, can't wait. Although it sounds like things are headed in the right direction, so we can all cross our fingers. Where's the first place you want to go, Matt, after uh, after you're allowed? Oh. Yeah, that's a great question. I, I have a double way. I mean, not only was I locked at home, my babies are born in April. So oh, we really get locked at home. Oh, wow. I don't know. Maybe, maybe a restaurant, because we haven't yeah. even been to a restaurant. Um, yeah. You know, with, with my oldest, he was a week old and we were taking him all over the place. And these two haven't haven't really been anywhere. So it'll be really exciting to to show them the world. Although now with as old as they are, you know, it's gonna be a crazy experience for them just to, you know, not see something that's home or yeah. you know, grandma's house. Oh wow, wow. Where are you where are you going, Linda? Where are you going first thing? I like Barbados and I like Aruba. Oh, okay, very yeah. good. You, you're you're the sun goddess. I you're want to I want to go to California. Um, my brother lives in Oakland, so um, I'm looking. I keep I keep looking at the at the flights. Like, how soon is it too soon to like grab a flight? Like, if I get a flight now, what will I be able to go? I don't know. We'll you could routinely get um. Get like the $29 or $39 Southwest specials. You can get those from Oakland to Ontario all the time. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I, can, I, can I get it from Baltimore though? I don't think so. Probably I'm, not. I'm that, it's like although, 150 to Balt from Baltimore to like Oakland. So hopefully soon. Yeah, I mean, airfare right now is cheap. It's a great time to book your airfare for road because it's dirt cheap. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. Let's everybody sign up right now, get their plans for road. 2022 yeah 2022 the return to in person yay. very very exciting yay but heather yes all right yeah right you're supposed to surprise you. sorry i'll stop with a question no nope. wrote it home wrote it home in may yes okay i think you're coming back am i wait yeah. let me check my calendar <laughs> that would be fantastic i'd love to come back yeah um and I like, I kind of like the the spin that you're gonna put on it in uh, in May. It's a little bit different, so I'm I'm kind of excited. It's gonna be fun. Got it I got the like skill bit. builder classes for everybody, so um, stay tuned for that. And some lectures coming up as well. So if you want to hear me like yammer on for about an hour, like sign up for those. Those will be fun. Do you talk about anything you do when you're not quilting on those lectures? You know, I talk. Um, I'll talk about anything. I. You know, it's like I usually have an outline, a script or a PowerPoint, but I always go off the rails because, you know, something will pop up in my mind and I just want to like share it with people. So like here's something that's I've been sharing lately. It's not, it's so silly, but um, I so I, I love to piece quilting, not so much. So most of my things I send out to a long, long arm quilter. Right. But. Um, I was quilting a small little piece, you know, maybe like this big by this big. I'm going to do the free motion quilting. I know how to do the free motion quilting, right? So I got my machine all set up. You know, I've dropped my feed dogs and I'm ready to go. And it's not working. And all my stitches bunch up. So I'm like, hmm, that's weird. Take it out. And you know, like five minutes of free motion quilting takes about two hours to unpick. So unpicked all of it, did it again. Same thing happened. I'm like, what in the world? Then I realized I had my walking foot on my machine and not the free motion foot. And guess what? Works a whole lot better with the free motion foot. So I will just talk about stuff like that. Just like real life stuff. Um, yeah. But if I'm not quilting, um, what do I do? Um, I like kayaking. I like cooking. Um, a good book. Um, I'm not very good gardener, but I like 
fresh food. <laughs> <laughs> it, what can you even grow in Baltimore? It's cold there. Yeah, so it's not very long the growing season, um, but you know we can I can I can get a good amount of cucumber, zucchini, green beans. I mean, like I'm very rudimentary. I don't I don't try anything fancy. Like I tried cilantro. Cilantro doesn't do so well for me. Um, I wish I could have cilantro. So I mean, really, it's more of a hobby. It's more of a it's a craft project. My garden is really what it is, just to see if I can you know, put stuff in the ground and make something out of it. But um, we're not feeding my family off of the garden by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> so you're not one of those cilantro soap people then, are you? No, I love cilantro. I would eat it on everything. Yeah. I Linda, do you like cilantro? <gasps> really? Does it taste like soap to you? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, I really? Eat it. It won't even touch my mouth. Oh, mm. Oh, I'll, I'll have yours. Well, and I think, you know, if you're going to be in California, it's kind of required before you move into the state. You like the checklist. Cilantro, yes or no? If not, you got to leave. You know, that's funny. My wife won't eat cilantro. Really? Really? She says it tastes like soap. Isn't that interesting? You know, I, I can't understand that because it tastes like cilantro to me. Yeah. Soap. Yeah. Soap. Hmm. Really? I know. Soap. I don't know. I didn't have that experience as a child because um, my mother couldn't catch me. So I didn't have to eat any soap. Because you were too busy riding your horses away from her. Yeah, she she catch me coming in the door, though. Oh, see, I've got a great story. So when I was a kid, they used to wash my mouth out with soap all the time. And so I got really, really mad at my mom and dad one day, and I locked myself in the bathroom. And back in those days, mom and dad bought uh, ivory bar soap by the case. And so I started unwrapping the soap and shoving it down the toilet. And then I got so mad, I stopped unwrapping it, and I just started jamming it down to the toilet. It got so bad that my mom had to call her dad to come and fix the toilet because my dad was ready to kill me. <laughs> I what are you going to do when your boys do that? We only have liquid soap in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I learned my lesson. This is being recorded, right? So they will be able to see this at some point, yes? They yeah. will at some point. Luckily, uh, luckily, hopefully that'll be many years before they see this. <laughs> but my parents will never let me live that one down. Boy, they tell me that all the time. They even warned Jen that... Uh, Better watch the little ones in soap. And Brayden in the in the bathroom and started locking the door. You know, oh no, what are you doing in there? Oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. We have a comment, Jillian. It's a biological huh. thing. That some people. Oh, interesting. I, didn't know that. I wonder why. Is isn't that the question that we'd all ask, right? Like why? Hmm. That's that's odd. Do you have anything else in there interesting, Jillian? Jillian is the producer in the background. She's the one moderating all the comments and and pulling up uh, pulling up your comments for us to chit chat about. Yeah, where um, now? Where was Jillian when uh, the soap episode was happening? Uh, Jillian wasn't even born yet. Okay, okay, got it. Jillian is quite a bit under. Uh, row twenty two. That is a great question about whether it will be online or not. There will be some um, aspects of Road in person that will be online. Um, but we're right now, we're planning on offering a few online classes in January, but our online, real our online show, we're planning on doing May of every year. So we're planning on doing it in person in January and then doing a separate online event in May. Um, but there will be some online components in January. What they are yet? I have no idea. That's way too far ahead of thinking for us. Um, stay tuned in the coming months. We'll get there. A lot of things around here, as you will find out through It's So Road, you're going to find out that a lot of decisions are made. I wouldn't say last minute, but I would say um, we, we like to see what's going on before we tie ourselves down to anything. And, Linda, I saw that look. We are not last-minute people. I'm a planner, so I don't I don't know how you, you even pulled off January. I think I think that's fantastic. I mean the, you with, know, the, with the amount of classes that you offered and just creating 
I mean, from a teacher side, creating the infrastructure for us was amazing. So kudos to you. You know, the, the funniest part about, about this business and kind of the, kind of the thing that nobody will believe when I tell you this, I'm a very disorganized person. I, I am not organized in the slightest bit and time management is horrible for me. So most people, when they, when they don't, when they hear about it, they don't realize all the chaos that goes out on in the background of this place. But we always think that we, we, of course, I hire people that are, are organized because I know I am very unorganized. Um, but the best thing about, about that is like we have Jillian, who's kind of a detail person. I'll come up with the big picture idea and then, and then I just hand it off to Jillian and she handles all the, uh, all he, he speaks the truth. It is very correct there. Um, she handles all the minor details and stuff. So you know the best part is nobody sees the chaos on the on the outside. And uh, in Road at Home in January was a perfect example of that. Nobody saw the the three weeks leading up to it. This this place was nuts. And then um, and then it, and then it calmed back down. Yeah. So. Yeah. Then everybody took a big nap, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Wow. People who taste soap with cilantro have super taste buds. Thank you, Terry. Wow. That is an awesome thing to know. I had no idea. Super taste buds. Wow. I see you learn something new every day. Yeah. See, look at, look at everything you learned. You learned about cilantro and soap and pineapples. I, mean, this I is know. I, I, I thought there was going to be like a cookie review or something. What's happening with that? Where are the cookies? Matt ate them. Well, well I did not eat the cookies. Thank you very much. I no. On, I on there days cookies we, involved. I was promised cookies. On days that we don't have a product review are days yeah. that we will be reviewing Oreo cookies. But today happens to be one of those days that we have a product review. Wait, back up. How many Oreo cookies are there that you can review? Okay, so that's a great question. So we got online <laughs> and we started looking around, and there were like 20-something flavors of Oreo cookies out there. Yeah. Okay. I only want one, but sure. Next time you go to the grocery store, I didn't believe them. I went to... I don't go to the grocery store. store. And I looked in the cookie aisle, and yeah. it was... Oreo cookie this, Oreo cookie that. This cookie. Like, oh, my God. All right. All right. Well, maybe I'll put that on my bucket list, my end of COVID bucket list, is to go to the grocery store and try all the Oreo cookies. Yeah. So, Heather, yes. other than a pineapple quilt, let's <laughs> see some of your quilts. Oh, um, okay. What <laughs> do you got? One. So let's see, what can I show you? I can show you this one over here. Okay. Um, I call that Carnival. Um, I did that for Jaff Tex Corporation for their, I don't know, 85th birthday. Um, here's a little one that, um, actually I just taught this at the last, um, the last row, the made little uh, Dresden Rainbow mini quilt is a fun one. I do a lot of scrap quilts, so let me see if I can scoot over here. You can see this one here. Um, I think I talked that at the last row too. I call it diamonds on a string. Um, I've been working very hard on the, in the last couple of years, just one, to use my stash, and number two, to use up all my scraps. Of course, my scraps beget scraps, so the scrap pile never really you know, goes down very much. It doesn't seem like, but um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm making quilts all the time. This year, what I'm really concentrating on is filling the back load or, or finishing the back load of quilts, like all the UFOs. Um, but here's a question, and Linda, you can chime in on this, maybe. So, you know, like when you're a teacher and you have all these quilt samples that you start to make, right? And for each class, you've got, you know, step out and several samples and, you know, quilts in different stages. Do you consider those UFOs or just work? Work. Just work. Okay. So you don't, you don't feel obligated to finish them, make them into anything. See, I'm still, I'm still on the road about it. On the road about it. See what I did there? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm still undecided if I if I need to finish everything, you know. And I do. I actually I do a whole lecture on that, like on UFOs and like, do you need to finish everything? Um, 
I do that a lot for guilds and things like that. Um, I do you want more quilts? I have a whole like laundry basket of quilts over here. I can go fetch. No, I, I think we're almost out of okay. time. All right. Is there anything else that we should have covered with you, Heather? Well, let me see. Um, you got an Etsy excited. store. Huh? You got an Etsy store. I do. So, yeah. So, really, everything you see here I have patterns for, especially the pineapple quilt. Um, there's a little string around the bottom you can find. Me. If you ever need to find me, just it's just my name. And at Gmail, you can find me there on my website, on Instagram. It's just my name. So, you know, reach out and say hi. Um, I mean, you know what? I, I, I've said this before, but, you know, this whole teaching online thing, honestly, to me, it's a gift, a complete gift. Never, never thought that was going to happen because, you know, we're coming kind of up on the anniversary, really, of um, stay-at-home orders like this week, next week. And I thought, literally thought that, going to be unemployed, for, you know, maybe forever, like maybe I'm retired now. And then these opportunities to teach online, either with road or um, to guilds uh, or just even getting together with friends came up and um, I jumped on it like, yeah, let's do it. And I, I set up a classroom and I started doing it. And um, yesterday, a little behind the scenes, the three of us did a little practice. <laughs> and Pat said, yeah, I'm very much fake until you make it. And like, I feel like I'm that too. I set this whole thing up very fake until I make it, you know, but it works. I, you know, I can, I can show everybody I've got, you know, four different cameras and it's all good. So um, I just, it's, I'm eager to get back to live and see, cause I'm a hugger, you know, everybody, but also, um, in the meantime, this is this is a great alternative. So I'm really I'm, I'm excited. So thank you. Um, thanks for letting me uh, be in your inaugural. It's so road. Um, yeah. But anybody else reach out. Come say hi. Perfect. Well, thank you, Heather. And, and please go support Heather by checking out her patterns on her Etsy shop. Um, next up, the le next segment of our show here is product reviews with Stevie Graves. Oh, awesome. Woohoo! Bye guys. Hi, Stevie. Hi. Hi. I'm Stevie Graves, and I live in Leesburg, Virginia, and it is 57 degrees here right now, and the sun is out. And the sun's supposed to be out for the next uh, five or six days, which is a big change from what we've had the past couple of weeks. You didn't want to go outside the last couple of weeks. It was cold and wet and snowy and sleety. But what I'm going to talk about today is a book written by Patience Griffith. This one. Whoops. Let's see. Oh, you go backwards. It's like draw. It's like backing up a trailer, trying to figure out this camera thing. I was never very good at that. My husband and I used to used to boat, and I'd have to go get the trailer so we could put the the boat on the trailer so we could drive away. And he finally had to buy an aluminum trailer because I never could back the thing up. So I just get out of the car and pick up the back end of it and move it over. But, um, uh, novels written by Patience Griffith. It's not like reading War and Peace or anything like that. It's the type of book you read when you're on the couch, snuggled up under a nice cozy blanket. You have to have a cup of tea close by. And you need to have a cup and saucer so you have some place to put your Oreos. This happens to be my March uh, tea cup because it's got shamrocks on it and it's from, from Ireland and it is tissue thin. How I've, it's not broken is, is, there's a mystery, but anyway, so that's, that's what you, where you have to be. Okay. Patience has eight books to, she's published in her Scotland series, also known as kilts and quilts novels. So. I haven't read all eight, but I'm, I'm going to have to read all eight just to find out what's underneath those kilts. Mm. Um, it's prob probably find out in those pineapple cruise ship doors. Um, but Patience's latest uh, release, which I believe released today, is her new Home Sweet Alaska series. Uh, 
the novel is set in Sweet Home, Alaska, which is a small fictional town uh, fairly close to Anchorage, I assume from reading the book, but it has a population of about 573. And this is a book that's about community, it's about miscommunication, and about the power of love. Uh, throughout the story, there is a group of women called the Sisterhood of the Quilt. And the, the main characters have their ups and downs, and but they're, the ups are always supported by the Sisterhood of the Quilts and the community, and the downs, of course, are always a result of very poor communication. Um, I'm not so sure I could live in in Alaska, but if I lived in Alaska, I'd want to live in Sweet Home. Sweet Home is also has a lodge that people can come and visit. I I also know that Patience has started, or maybe it's already in the works, uh, book number two in this series, and it's set in Sweet Home, not with not the story will not be about the same characters, but they will appear as members of the community. Um, my favorite quote from the book is on page 207, and it says, Great grandmother Elsie said her female friendships were the most important thing in her life. And of course, um, great grandma Elsie was part of the sisterhood of, of the quilt. Um, and I know that in the, this time of being stuck at home and that sort of thing, friends certainly are one of the most important things. And certainly, you know, there are there are male quilters, but primarily it's it's women. I I had um, a couple of times I had friends come and sit in my driveway. We were six feet apart. And it was like the biggest thing that happened in the neighborhood. All the neighbors walked by. Every dog came by and wanted to be part of it. So, but it, again, it is the friends, and that's that's part of the strength of this book. The thing that I didn't like about the book is that it ended because I wasn't ready for it to be over with. Um, and another perk is that Patience designs quilts that go along with the story of each of the books. Um, you can find for the Kilt and Quilt series, you can find those on her website. But Patience will be our guest next week, I believe. Yeah. And um, she can talk to you about the, uh, the quilt for the starting of the Alaska series. Um, I, I'm very excited to see what it, what it is going to be. Because she also is a fabric designer for Northcott. Yeah, Banyan, yeah. Yes. So the, this book also made me want to have a Burmese mountain puppy. I, I don't need dogs again. I'm, t I'm, I'm too old to be uh, uh, vacuuming up dog hair all the time. But, uh, oh, I really want a Burmese mountain puppy after reading this book. But, okay, that's it for this book. Do we have any questions about, about the, the book? Otherwise, I'm going back to my sofa with a book and, and my tea and my Oreos. Patience popped a little blurb up that, um, her next book will be out in December. Okay, great, great. Oh, a, gr a great Christmas present for, for there you uh, go. favorite, favorite uh, quilting sisters, members of your sisterhood of the quilt. Yes. So would this, would this constitute as a good beach read? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, as I said, it's a very relaxed. It was an, it's an easy read, but... Uh, I, you know, as I said, I finished it and I wanted more and that's the best way to leave a book, isn't it? Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Yes. So uh, I'm excited for patience to come on. Yes, me too. She's a wonderful lady. Yes. Yeah, she's awesome. Stevie, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. I'm going back to eat that cookie. Get it before Matt does. Yes. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, thank you, Stevie. That was a wonderful book review. And I'm excited to chat with patients to, uh, next week on our show. Um, okay, Linda. All right. Before we end here, I got a joke for you. Are you ready? Yeah. Now, now I can say this joke because I am a man and a husband. So I, I can make this joke. But otherwise, Linda, you're not allowed to make this joke, okay? All right. 
All right, let, let me get it here. Hold on. Let me get it. All right. It's coming to me. It's coming. To me. All right. Do I get paid if I laugh? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay. okay. A man in a quilt will both keep you warm at night, but what will the quilt do or won't do that the man will? Hmm. You ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. The man won't say something stupid. That's true. <laughs> and as a husband, I can say that. <laughs> oh, my. So perfect. Well, I just want to thank everybody who joined us for our first episode of It's So Road Today. Again, I am Matt Reese, and my co-host is... Linda J. Hahn from Palm Bay, Florida. Don't forget the J, and, and don't forget to tune in next week, 11 a.m. Real People Time or Pacific. And that is on every Wednesday, and we'll be chatting with Patience Griffin. And we have some other guests lined up for you that you don't want to miss. Absolutely. So keep on with us. And uh, after the broadcast, you know, we'll be sure to check the comments on both Facebook and YouTube and answer any questions you may have. But until then, have a great day and keep on quoting. Bye, everybody. Make sure you wear your masks. Bye. Uh, yep. Stay safe.